in this video we're going to take a look at the proof of sine of a plus b and you must start with the proofs that have come before that so the proof that we are allowed to use and build on uh, is cos of a minus b so what I have to do first is find the connection between sine and cos how does one relate to the other and what you need to know is you need to know about complementary angles and I have another video about that if you're not sure about where this is coming from but complementary angles tell us that if you have sine of an angle let's call it theta that is equal to cos of 90 minus that angle okay and if you're not sure where that's coming from there is another video that I have on this that you should go back and take a look at you don't need to prove it while you're working through this proof but you are going to use it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the sine of a plus b and I want to turn it into cos of something if I have that sine of theta is equal to cos 90 minus that same theta then sine of a plus b so sine of a plus b that being our theta now is equivalent to cos of 90 minus a plus b so I'm going to use that now in the proof so all I've done is use the complementary angles to find out uh, how I can connect sine and cos together. So building on that now, what I can say is that actually what we're talking about is cos of 90 minus a plus b, which is actually cos of 90 minus a minus b. And why would I want to write it like that? Well, if I can write it like that, then what I have is cos of 90 minus a minus b. And what I have in that structure is my cos of a minus b, right? The very first proof that you're supposed to know. So that's actually what I have. And I'm going to use this now. I'm going to start rebuilding it. What I know and would have proven, and it's in the log tables, I'm going to use that, but instead of having the a and b, I'm going to have 90 minus a in the place of a, and I'm going to have b in the place of b. So that part's not going to change. So using that formula then, so that's what I'm going to work with. Every place that I see a, I'm going to replace it with 90 minus a, and every place that I see b, I'm going to replace it with uh, b. Well, it's going to say the same. So I'm going to have here, instead of a, every time I see a, I'm going to write 90 minus a. So that's 90 minus a minus b. Cos, instead of cos of a, I'm going to have cos of 90 minus a. Then I'm going to have sine of a, but instead of a, remember this time it's going to be 90 minus a. So, tidying that up then, what do I know is special or unique about these? Well, cos of 90 minus a, 90 minus something, and cos of that is equal to just sine of that something. So that's equal to just sine of that something. By cos of b, nothing changing there, plus, well, sine of 90 minus a, sine of 90 minus a, complementary angles works the other way as well, it's going to be cos of a, and then I have sine of b. And what we know about this, if we go back up to the start, go back up to this, that all came from this, sine of a plus b. So actually, while I know that where that came from, what I just wrote here, where this came from, was 90 minus a minus b. And I used the cos a minus b formula. What I know now is that this is actually equal to sine of a plus b. 
Okay, so all of that proof revolves around the fact that we have the complementary uh, angles at play. We can swap out sine of theta for cos of 90 minus theta, um, and then we were building it up from something we'd already proven. So you're supposed to know how to prove this from scratch, and then I used it on the formula above. So once I got this broken down, I involved this formula and every place that I saw A, I replaced it with 90 minus A. Every place that I saw B, I filled in B. And that's it. There's not a whole lot of steps to it, but it is important that you're able to follow what went on. Really important that we do understand where things are coming from. So that's it, sine of a plus b. The next part, I'm going to keep it in this video, is very simple. If you want to go from sine of a plus b, so we want to prove, so to prove sine of a minus b, very straightforward. So sine of a minus b is going to be sine of a uh, cos of b, minus cos of a sine of b. All you're going to do is you're going to start with the given. So you can start with the proof that came before it, which is sine of a, a plus b. So given that we know that sine of a plus b is equal to all of this, I'm allowed to use that. And I'm going to just say, it is as simple as this, let b equal to minus b. I'm allowed to say that and all I'm going to do now is replace all of the b's in here with minus b's and what I'm going to get is sine of a minus b because I'm replacing every single b that I see there with minus b. That gets replaced, that gets replaced and that gets replaced and we get sine of a, no change, cos of minus b plus cos of a sine of minus b. And what you should know, and you can check in your calculator, is if you take cos of say 60 uh, and you put that in your calculator, it'll give you the exact same value as if you do cos of minus 60. So actually, there is no change, even though I have changed b to minus b, cos actually stays the same. So there's no change to the first part. So it's sine A cos B, no change. However, if you change in your calculator and you go to fill in sine of 30 versus sine of minus 30, you do get different answers and they differ by the sine. So the sine of minus B will actually turn this whole thing negative. So it goes minus cos of A sine of B. And that's it, there's sine of a minus b. So there's the next two proofs that you need to know uh, for your compound angle formula. And they can ask those and they're very easy marks when they do come up. So do put the time into learning them and understanding them. Not only is it important for the proofs themselves if they come up, but the problem solving and the rationalizing that you're doing around this and the reasoning that you're doing around it that's going to come up in a problem solving question. So it is important that you do understand everything that's gone on here.